It's been over 60 years since Marilyn Monroe died, and yet she still fascinates us. Why do you think that is? In this video, we're going to take a look at why Marilyn Monroe is still one of the most talked about celebrities decades after her death. Some say it's because she was so beautiful and talented. Others say it's because of her tragic life story. But whatever the reason may be, one thing is for sure, Marilyn Monroe will always be an icon. Marilyn Monroe's life and legacy were legendary, and yet she's often remembered only for her beauty and sexiness. However, Marilyn was far more than just a pretty face. She was also talented, smart, and remarkably kind. Growing up in foster homes made Marilyn resilient and taught her the importance of compassion. Her career spanned an impressive timeline and her movies are timeless classics. But Marilyn shone just as much off screen as on. Her modern legacy illustrates Marilyn not only as an icon of glamour, but one of grace, strength, warmth, kindness, and intelligence. A perfect example that beauty goes beyond the surface. Marilyn Monroe's legacy shines bright in Hollywood even today. Her presence will never be forgotten thanks to the multifaceted woman she was both on and off screen. And let's talk about Marilyn's legacy in pop culture. Marilyn Monroe is an iconic figure in popular culture, a portrait of beauty and talent tinged with tragedy. Hollywood classics like All About Eve, Niagara, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, How to Marry a Millionaire, The Seven Year Itch, Bus Stop, The Prince and the Showgirl, Some Like It Hot, and The Misfits, all draw attention to her infamous legacy of captivating performances. Marilyn's signature comedic timing and her unparalleled knack for embodying innocence and playfulness are evidence of why she continues to be so beloved by modern fans, even 60 years after her peak in Hollywood. Marilyn's presence can still be felt today through film, and the awe-inspiring images of her eternally radiant beauty. Although Marilyn Monroe passed away more than 50 years ago, her legacy continues. Her mysterious passing is still one of Hollywood's most intriguing mysteries, but her star power endures long after her brief existence. Elton John dedicated a song to her 11 years after she passed away, singing your torch burnt out long before your legendary did. Even now, these words still ring true. You probably already know this, but the bombshell from the 1950s has become a 21st century pop culture phenomena. She represented sensuality in pop culture, and Marilyn Monroe served as a symbol of sexuality and humor in popular culture, and her films had a significant role in both. She was a blonde bombshell who raised the bar for blonde parts in Hollywood. She was a sex queen. Her curly platinum blonde hair, plump lips, and lovely voice voice are now legendary. Since the 1930s, when Jean Harlow ruled the cinema, Marilyn Monroe has contributed an innocent and childlike element to both real life and the screen, enhancing the seductiveness of her appearance. But more than that, she made a significant contribution to the entertainment industry by becoming a well-known actress in her own right. She became even more popular after her death. She was more than just a movie star or a blonde bombshell. During her lifetime, she became a worldwide sensation. Years after her death, her beauty and image are still tightly linked to sensuality, serving as an example for women. In 1999, she was named as the sexiest woman of the century by Playboy magazine. Her iconic look is channeled by many artists years after her death. A young actress or pop singer emulating or downright appropriating Marilyn Monroe's platinum hair, brilliant and moist red lips, and voluptuous body dressed in anything skin tight and glitzy is likely to be found if you flip through a celebrity magazine. Marilyn Monroe was a force to be reckoned with in Hollywood, and her masterful performances of Lorelei in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes and the unnamed girl in The Seven Year Itch are some of her most remarkable performances. While we may never 
fully understand the wit behind her lines, it's impossible not to be drawn in every time Marilyn delivers them. Her influence is so great that artists like Madonna, Christina Aguilera, and Miss Piggy, to name a few, have all been lured in to pay homage to the iconic Marilyn Monroe. With every death-defying note and line delivery, Marilyn gracefully pulled it off. She will remain deeply loved by generations both old and new. And her image has become an aesthetic of its own. One of the most popular and widely photographed stars in American film history, Marilyn Monroe was also one of the most successful actresses. Most people nowadays who have not watched a Marilyn Monroe movie are still familiar with, of her thanks to her appearance. Her photos are available as designs from everything to clocks, to wall decor, to binders, to notebooks, to clothing. Her image has been carefully preserved and has developed its own beauty. Her influence on popular culture continues to this day and has influenced our lives and imaginations. Actresses, actors, and fans from all over the world replicate her appearance, character, and fashion sense. Marilyn Monroe has been an icon for over six decades. Her story captured Activating many and inspiring countless others is no wonder that Hollywood directors have taken it upon themselves to honor this incredible legacy by interpreting her life on the big and small screens. From Goodbye Norma Jean in 1976 to My Week with Marilyn in 2011, her audience has been witnessing a continuous stream of films and shows depicting varied aspects of the starlet's fascinating journey. Her presence extends even further into popular popular series like Quantum Leap, American Horror Story, Feud, and The Kennedys, enchanting watchers throughout the globe. Despite such a huge diverse selection of interpretations, My Week of Marilyn is famously claimed to be the most faithful account concerning its accuracy. There's no denying that there will be forever a sparkle in our hearts for this Hollywood bombshell. Music has given voice to Marilyn's story in a stirring, passionate way. The most renowned song is undoubtedly Alton John's Candle in the Wind, a heartfelt tribute to her alluring beauty and captivating influence against the odds of her life. The uncovering lyrics, your candle burned out long before your legend ever did, captures Marilyn's presence even after death as she inspires current artists such as Nicki Minaj, who playing homage to this icon has become something more than just a profession. As with their art, music gave the world yet another way to touch upon a Marilyn Monroe's life. Its secrets and its mysteries are still unsolved. The impact of Marilyn Monroe can still be felt in pop culture today, both through her unique image and the mysterious allure when she's behind the scenes. And much of this is because of her godly charm, an almost a thorough quality which has captured the attention of teenagers and adults alike. Andy Warhol's iconic 1962 silkscreen painting, The Marilyn Diptych, was a huge hit at the time and now much treasured as a classic poster recognizable around the world. Thus, it's no wonder that it has been nearly 60 years since her untimely death, yet Marilyn is still considered one of Hollywood's most influential icons. Marilyn Monroe was a goddess of courage and boldness, breaking through the harsh and oppressive environment that surrounded her. Her beauty, self-expression, and charisma catapulted her to the top, becoming one of the most influential figures of the 20th century. Her smile charmed audiences both on and off screen, inspiring admiration in those who encountered her. She possessed unattainable strength, refusing to be silenced or oppressed by outdated mindsets. The force of Marilyn Monroe's personality was truly unparalleled and it is thanks to her that a new window for feminist thinking opened up for future generations. And let's talk about Marilyn's influence on fashion and beauty. She brought body conscious design to the forefront of fashion. Marilyn Monroe is loved by the younger generation for a unique reason, not for her movies or her talent, but rather because she is a style icon. And many ladies can relate to that. She represents a particular type of feminine ideal and is responsible for popularizing body conscious clothing. She left a lasting impression on the fashion world and rose to the position of a fashion visionary who made up and coming designers famous. 
The way Monroe embraced her curvaceous, sexy form was undoubtedly her greatest contribution to beauty and fashion. Although Marilyn Monroe is by no means a plus size, she has raised awareness about accepting your natural body type. Adding plus sizes to the wardrobe selections is one of the fashion's major inventions. She's the epitome of glamour. Marilyn Monroe's distinctive and incomparable aura helped her become a fashion legend. Her appearance established a type of aesthetic rule for the red carpet that is still in use today, dictating the fashion of the 1950s. With her platinum blonde hair, crimson lips, and exquisite curves, she exudes glamour and everything she wears sets the current trend. She perfectly embodied luxury in a satin gold dress with a deep V neckline, opera gloves, a fur stole, and sparkling jewelry. Although stylists and designers imitated the traditional Hollywood glamour look for celebrities to wear, none of them were as well known as Monroe. She was unquestionably the queen of evening wear. She was always courageous and it must be acknowledged that Monroe greatly influenced the creation of the stereotype of a Hollywood actress, seductive, carefree, and glamorous. Monroe's red carpet attire, which included close-fitting clothing, frequently without straps and half smiles, became the norm for the actress. Although she was was never rude or scandalous looking, she wasn't hesitant to expose a little skin. Her style went on to become a part of a fashion lore. Marilyn Monroe has been at the top of the fashion and beauty world for many years, but her iconic status is reaching even greater heights recently. This was all thanks to the film Blonde, the new biopic film which has started a revolution to the fashion and beauty industry known as Monroe Core. I did not like that movie, but it has started this trend. From A-list celebrities to TikTok influencers, everyone seems to be wanting to recreate Marilyn's classic and timeless style. Kim Kardashian attended the Met Gala wearing one of Marilyn Monroe's dresses, I have a full video about that if you're interested, and creating an alluring look that rivaled even that of the classic star herself. Even in today's ever-evolving world of trends, Marilyn's style remains simple, glamorous, and always graceful, a true testament to her timelessness. Bella Hadid channels Marilyn Monroe with her new bleach blonde hair. Bella switched from her typically dark hair during the holidays to a honey blonde hair, and on December 18th, she posted an Instagram story revealing the change. Feeling a little better and a little blonder, she wrote in little letters as the description to the video showcasing her new blonde hair. A month after revealing her lighter hair, Bella has since uploaded photos of herself looking even more daring and blonde. Bella shared an Instagram video of herself using hairspray to get a new platinum blonde style, taking hairstylist Sam McKnight. It definitely has that Marilyn Monroe look to it, in my opinion. I can see it. Bella's debut of her blonde hair has drawn immediate comparisons from fans to Marilyn Monroe's iconic hairdo in the comments. Her hair was cut into a shorter, bouncy bob to emphasize the comparison while also giving her the most blonde appearance to date and Hollywood style curls. To emphasize the new hair alone, she wore a basic white shirt and a minimal makeup. Her eyebrows had more vintage Hollywood appearance than usual. It's obvious that Marilyn's famed curls are still all over mood boards for 2023 and beyond because of celebrities like Kim Kardashian also channeling Marilyn at the 2022 Met Gala. It'll be interesting to see what the Met Gala will be like this year. It seems that the old school glam look of the 1950s Hollywood is having a major moment. As Blonde brought the era to the silver screen, people around the world are searching for their own interpretation of Marilyn Monroe's iconic style. From celebrities boldly rocking updated versions of the look at fashion events such as the Met Gala, to everyday people looking to put their own spin on it, this trend could be set to last. With a classic sense of refinement and class, it's no surprise that so many are drawn to this unique and timeless style. And here's to embracing the glamour of yesteryear and modern times. And I'm all about kind of putting a modern twist on like an old Hollywood classic look, but definitely not a fan of Kim Kardashian wearing that dress. And what is Monroe Core? The Marilyn Monroe inspired look dubbed Monroe Core is an iconic beauty trend that has graced the runways and red carpets year after year. Sentiments of nostalgia arise when imagining her curled blonde bob, red lips, 
birthmark and long flirty lashes that still inspire creative minds today. While the look has become a timeless classic with many interpretations of glamour and modernity in between, there are a few key features that remain central to the elegance we began to associate with it decades upon decades ago. Makeup artists and fashionistas alike can indulge in the feeling of retro femininity as they capture the essence of Marilyn within their curly locks and bold dashes of color while amping up her sultry flair with sweeping lashes. In spite of changing trends over the years, this one has staying power and its ability to encase its onlookers with charm, all for the sake of glamorizing a time gone by. And when it comes to Marilyn Monroe's makeup and in channeling this iconic style, it all begins with her signature beauty look. Red lips, heavily rimmed eyes, and perfectly coiffed blonde locks. These timeless elements provide the foundation of the Monroe core trend. And to get it right and truly evoke the glamour of this old Hollywood goddess, focus on perfecting these essential steps. From choosing your lipstick shade with care to playing up your eyes, you can recreate a classic Marilyn Monroe for yourself with ease. And Marilyn Monroe used a dewy primer, and no one speaks of the phrase the dewy glow without thinking of Marilyn Monroe. Legend has it that she was single-handedly responsible for popularizing the soft, radiant luminosity. If you've been searching for this candlelit complexion but feel like your makeup just isn't cutting it, then introducing a dewy primer into your beauty routine could be the answer. Before applying foundation, create a smooth base and add a light veil of dewy shine to your face that will have everyone wondering how you ch achieve such a dewy glow. And shine bright and take inspiration from the 20th century icon Marilyn Monroe to create this classic dewy look. Vaseline was used by Marilyn's makeup artist Alan Whitey Schneider as a primer and highlighter to create the star's dewy sheen. It seems that Marilyn enjoyed the way petroleum jelly made her skin feel because it was such an effective moisturizer. Moisture also meant keeping her young. When she was on camera, she thought it gave her a soft, focused glow beneath the studio lights. Vaseline served as Marilyn's foundation base as well as a highlighter application on her cheekbones and brow bones to give them a little additional sheen. Snyder occasionally used a tiny dab to her eyelids to enhance their shine. And Marilyn Monroe didn't seem to mind that ointment was a little gooey. According to Vogue magazine, Marilyn frequently wore many thick layers of petroleum jelly to work. It was crucial to achieve the ideal glow with the numerous films she appeared in. Remember that this does not even take into account the amount of makeup she would wear on the set. It's fortunate she notably avoided exposure to the sun while she was all lathered up. And Marilyn Monroe is obviously known for the bold red lip. Marilyn Monroe's iconic bold red lip had a certain kind of power that could instantly transform anyone wearing it into a sexy, confident woman. She wore it with such ease and confidence that nobody could forget her. Her fiery sophistication was matched only by the vibrant hue of her signature makeup, a powerful shade of red that danced along her lips as they were coated in liquid fire. Marilyn Monroe made bold red lipstick part of her identity and in inspired hordes of brave women everywhere to express their true selves unapologetically. The key to Marilyn Monroe's bombshell persona was her scarlet mouth, her pursed big lips, and gentle sultry voice that came from between them exuded sex appeal and captivating ultra feminine attractiveness. Red lipstick was the cosmetic equivalent of the slinky low-cut skirts and high heels that were her signature looks along with her golden blonde hair. Red lipstick, however, did more than just that. It helped to portray many of the roles better. Red lipstick was the right accessory to emphasize her character's femininity and seductiveness in parts like Cherie in Bus Top and Laura Lai in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Monroe's makeup artist, Alan Whitey Schneider, carefully and methodically applied several shades of red to her lips at once, using a darker version towards the corners and a softer version toward the center to create a strongly accentuated pout. 
However, the actress's seductive attitude wasn't simply preserved for her film performances. When she was on duty, Max Factor's ruby red was a fixture of her makeup routine. And below were some other vintage lipsticks that she wore. Revlon's Bachelor Carnation, and according to Revlon's brand reps, the closest match available today would be their super lustrous lipstick in the shade Love That Red. And she also liked Revlon's Certainly Red lipstick, Revlon's Kiss Me Coral, and supposedly this is the orange red she wore in Something's Gotta Give. And she also liked Revlon Blaze Apricot Lipstick. And Marilyn Monroe was famed for her bold and daring beauty choices, none more so than her iconic cat eye. It was a perfect accompaniment to her signature red lips, and she would apply it with a steady hand for that extra bit of drama. The combination of the two elements transformed Marilyn into an international style icon and is still emulated by makeup lovers today, a testament to Marilyn's timeless sense of style. While most ladies choose to use either brown or black pencil eyeliners, Snyder, the actress's makeup artist, combined both colors on Marilyn. He would line her upper eyelids and water lines with the traditional Elizabeth Arden eye pencils in both colors and winging the lash lines to lengthen them. Then in order to enlarge Marilyn's eyes, Snyder would draw a little white triangle on the outside corner of her eye in between the top and lower liner wings. Then to make her eyes even wider, he put a dot of red liner to the inner corner of the eye and added white to the water lines. Although Marilyn preferred the length and fullness of false eyelashes, she also wanted them to appear natural. By cutting synthetic eyelash strips and using them exclusively on the outer corners of her eyes, she was able to get the best of both worlds. This gave her a little seductive and cat eye aspect, adding further femininity to a face with such powerful womanly features. Marilyn Monroe was the ultimate symbol of beauty in her time and she undeniably still is today. It's hard to look at Marilyn's face without being mesmerized by her alluring beauty mark on her lower left cheek. Drawing on this singular beauty mark almost serves as a time machine, providing us with a gateway to a simpler version of Marilyn that we will never truly be able to replicate. With all of Marilyn's iconic moments captured, there is something special about the idea of imitating one perfect moment that stands out, her beauty mark. Through the simple task of recreating Marilyn's beauty mark, we are able to build a deepened appreciation of her timeless allure that continues to gracefully transcend through generations upon generations. And Marilyn gave the perfume Chanel No. 5 an iconic scent status. In a 1952 interview, Marilyn Monroe made the infamous claim that she only wore five drops of Chanel No. 5 when she went to bed. Even today, that one small recommendation continues to help the brand and the perfume selection. She established Chanel No. 5 as an iconic brand because of her dazzling persona and superstar status. Marilyn Monroe crafted not one, but two distinct personalities with her unique style. On the silver screen, she lived out a glamorous fantasy in her sexy and glitzy looks that have defined Marilyn in the eyes of many. What is unknown to some is Marilyn's alternative off-screen wardrobe that was entirely its own. Her eye for fashion off-screen wasn't as widely documented, so it is no wonder why Marilyn's on-screen look remains the most identifiable vision of her. Marilyn Monroe was an icon who will be remembered for both her her on-screen and off-screen wardrobe, each creating a one-of-a-kind style like no other. Marilyn is renowned for her iconic glamour, but there was also another side to her wardrobe that wasn't so well documented. When she wasn't on the red carpets or shooting a movie, Marilyn generally preferred the simplicity of slacks and turtlenecks or a classic sheath dress. But when it came to those moments that would live in Hollywood history long after she was gone, Marilyn knew how to turn up the drama, just like she did with the world-famous white dress scene from The Seven Year Itch. Her timeless looks are almost impossible to recreate because no one has Marilyn Monroe's aura. She was a vision when wearing the most glamorous of gowns, but unbeknownst to many, Marilyn's charismatic, casual style is just as iconic. 
and it's often forgotten that Marilyn embraced her flair even while dressed down. Taking herself off duty never meant sacrificing chicness. Thanks to the internet, we can easily channel our inner Marilyn and accessorize with such effortless grace. And with Marilyn's timeless pose that goes beyond fashion alone, we can now adorn ourselves in a trademark look any day. On the way to work, or simply lounging around the house. Marilyn appeared on screen as the dumb blonde, but her characters were nothing like her. She was incredibly smart in real life. Monroe took acting very seriously, but it seemed that the business not, did not feel the same way about her. She definitely became irritated when studios kept pushing and offering her dumb blonde roles, and she decided enough was enough. She declined a film project, because she was upset about being typecast and underpaid by the studio. However, when the studio remained adamant about not altering her contract, she relocated to New York and established her own production company. Studios used to dictate which film performers could appear back then, but Monroe fought for and gained the right of script and direction approval. This was unheard of back then in old Hollywood. Her effect continues to be quite powerful today. Monroe is to be credited for every time a woman can produce or direct a movie. Also, a woman who has the ability to reject a script and advocate for herself in the entertainment industry. And unfortunately, tragedy is part of Marilyn Monroe's legacy. It is impossible to separate Marilyn's legacy from her untimely passing and mental health issues. Many of the fictionalized versions of her biography are very depressing, including Blonde, which came out in 2022. Although Anna de Armas' performances received widespread praise by some critics, the movie exploits Marilyn Monroe and is basically thinly veiled trauma porn. Many spectators found the movie upsetting and couldn't get past the historical and factual mistakes. And the movie basically fetishizes female misery. And I honestly, I was excited about a Marilyn Monroe movie, but I did not like this one. It just kind of made me sick, to be honest. Unfortunately, Blonde made the mistake mistake of over-sexualizing Marilyn and emphasizing her suffering. Although sadness cannot be separated from Marilyn's legacy, this also demonstrates why people like movies that humanize her, like My Week with Marilyn. Thankfully, Marilyn's true tale is being told by fans themselves. The Marilyn Monroe Remembered Fan Club's president, Greg Schreiner, writes, I believe that there is a chance for public misperception. Undoubtedly, the studio cultivated the perception of her as a dumb blonde. She wasn't stupid at all. She was an extremely smart girl who was incredibly witty. She studied philosophical works and books with a lot of detail. <laughs> she valued reading and continuing her education. He also cites one instance of Marilyn's generosity to illustrate his desire for admirers to remember Marilyn for her kindness. Anyone who knew her well would never have described her as a blonde bombshell. She was viewed by them as a giving, loving, and compassionate person. When I spoke with her stand in Evelyn, she recalled once complimenting Marilyn on something she was wearing and how nice it was. The item arrived wrapped in front of her door the following morning. That's how kind Marilyn Monroe really was. After everything she had been through, Marilyn had made a special effort to be kind to other people. Although Marilyn cannot be remembered without her untimely demise, her kindness certainly merits inclusion in her legacy. Marilyn deserves to be known for these qualities too, just like Audrey Hepburn is known for her sense of style, talent, and kindness. And Marilyn Monroe has become an iconic figure in American pop culture, easily recognized by her graceful beauty and stunning style. Though she met a tragically untimely end, Marilyn's legacy has stood the test of time and resonated through generations as one of the most recognizable names of all time. From those who have never actually seen her act to the seasoned fan that's viewed each classic on repeat, Marilyn's story continues to captivate viewers and remind us that even though Marilyn is no longer with us, her legend lives on forever. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and check out some of my other Maryland videos right here. All right, see you soon. Bye.